Hey everyone, it's me again, Christina. This is another one of my video diaries, and like I said, I was going to try to do one, you know, every so often to let you know how I'm progressing in my, my health and with my situation. First, I'd like to start off with um, today telling you what it's 10:50 uh, p.m. and it's October 3rd. 2010. First, I'd like to show you or uh, um, explain to you where I'm at. I got sick at dialysis Friday. Come to find out that my perm cat that I use for dialysis, which is right here, um, it, it had gotten infected and the results for the swab come back from the, pet, from the pus that they swabbed a few days before and it turned out to be MRSA. The MRSA is a type of infection that is completely immune to a lot of antibiotics, which is antibiotics you have to get through the IV. Right now, they're having to give me vancomycin, but I'm actually allergic to vanco, so I had to come in. I'm in the heart transplant intensive care unit. Um, I'd like to show you these wires right here are for my heart because they have to put monitors on you know my chest and stuff um i'll show you what the heart monitor this is my heart monitor and that's to make sure that i have no arrhythmic problems or and stuff like that and if i was at the time i did they can look back in the computer and see these are my lovely little um, wristbands that I have accumulated since I've been here and this the purple one says I'm a fall risk which means I get if I get up I get dizzy and I can fall the second one which has got the orange plate on it and it's blue it um uh, that just tells you who I am it tells you my MRN number medical record number and this right here is the IV that I'm getting. Um, I have to use it for, you know, to get my vancomycin. Uh, I'd like to show you my room. I'll show, slowly pan it around. You can see my room. This little thing right here is the IV pump where I'm pointing. And it's actually touch screen. And that up there is the heart monitor that's picking up my heart um, from the heart monitor that I'm wearing on my chest. That's where you look. I've got me a big old stash of sodas because I'm on fluid restriction and I can't drink them. This is the rest of my room. And remember this is in uh, UAB Montgomery Alabama Hospital and it's uh, the heart transplant intensive care unit and that is my room uh, right now we really I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm probably going to be here for about a week or more. Um, they're going to have to give me the antibody that I'm allergic to, which they're going to have to wait and give it to me on dialysis days, which are Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. What they want to do is they want to take out my infected perm cath, and when they take it out, they're going to have to put a temporary catheter somewhere on my body that will allow me to keep getting dialysis because if they take this out right here I have no other access for dialysis so with the temporary reporting in that way they can keep giving me antibiotics through IV and they can try to get the infection to go away but since it's in my blood system that's going to be a little bit more tough um, so after that last result they take to see if I still have infection, if it comes back negative, they'll take the uh, temporary perm cath out 
put a more permanent perm cap back in where this is and they'll let me go home and I will not have an infection anymore. But for right now, I'm probably looking about being here for a week, which is fine with me. You know, as long as I stay here, I get my treatment. You know, I'd rather be here and get all the treatment I need than go home and wind up coming right back. Um, like I said, I'm only 26 year old and six years old. And this is actually a lot to have to deal with. <clears throat> but I would like to uh, tell you that um, a few days ago I watched a clip at Dialysis on TV and there was a story about this girl named Taylor Storch. This girl's story really opened up my eyes and made me realize just how important I am to be alive. Her parents on this story are trying to mourn her death, but in a way they know she's still somewhat alive because she donated her organs. And then on another clip on this uh, Today Show I was watching while I was at dialysis, her mother, I'm sorry, her mother, had a stethoscope and she put it in her ears. She put that stethoscope against the woman that had her daughter's heart. And she listened to her daughter's heart. And that's all she longed for was to listen to her daughter's heart one more time. And that truly changed me. Knowing that I can't get a kidney transplant is like, you know, a death sentence to me. And I was getting depressed and all that. But since I saw Taylor's story, I decided to stop being depressed for myself, stop feeling sorry for myself, and get up and actually do something about it. <coughs> and this is where the public comes into. I want to get my story out nationwide to help educate other people about organ donation. I know there's thousands and thousands of people out there like me that are waiting on their life-saving life surgery on an organ so they can live, live a longer, happier life. But, you know, I, since I can't get a kidney, it's my turn to face the fact that, you know, that's my destiny. And it's my turn to help others like I have been helped. <clears throat> I'd like to share my story nationwide. Help educate those that are not sure about, you know, the do's and the don'ts about organ donation. Um, because... I was given the gift not one time but twice. I had two heart transplants. Two. And even though I may never get to meet my donor's family, somehow if they see these or they see a clip about me or anything, I want them to know how greatly, truly grateful I am for them. I know it was hard for you when your sons passed away, but your sons are still living in me because their heart is still beating and still keeping me alive. So, I'm sorry. I'm going to end this video diary. I'm going to make them as much as I possibly can while I'm here to give you an update. But with all that said, one more thing. If you're watching this still, I want you to get on your computer and you go to www.taylorsgift.org That's T-A-Y-L O-R-S Gift G-I-F-T dot org you can go on there and you can watch Taylor's story. 
you um, can register to be an organ donor and if I can have someone if I can inspire someone to become an organ donor to save life then I'll be happy because one more life saved is one more life that does not pass away because they're still waiting on that organ also Taylor has um, some YouTube clips just type in Taylor Storch and you'll find her YouTube clips so with that said I'm gonna tell you good night because my my pain medicines are kicking in and this is getting a little too emotional for me so I'll talk to you all later until another day take care and God bless Love you.